Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Courtney Linda. If you are new here, hey. And if you're a returning subscriber, I rock with you. Thank you. So today we are going to talk about all of my tips on how I stay confident in the gym. How I stay, how I be confident, how I got confident, how you can be confident. Yeah, on my TikTok, a lot of people have been asking me, oh my God, like, how can you wear that to the gym? Or, oh my God, I wanna wear that to the gym, but I'm not at my body, the right body I want yet. And I'm just like, girl, forget the body you want, wear the clothes, wear the outfit, just wear it. Like, you're gonna be okay. So let's talk about it. The first and foremost thing that you're going to wanna do is you're going to want to get a workout set any outfit that makes you feel like a baddie anything that makes you feel like oh yeah i'm about to kill them in the gym today like they're not ready for this like at all that's what you want to put on and go to the gym like me i love wearing matching workout sets something about a matching set i'm a matching set guru and i eat down every time every time and don't even get me wrong I still be eating down when the sets don't match because I'll mismatch the sets. But my outfits just fit me. Like, y'all know it be up and the booty be booty in. And it just be making me feel so good. Like, so good. Oh my God. Like, when I really, I remember this one day I was feeling like a bad and it was when I had my Gymshark on. It's like this yellow camo Gymshark set. Feeling like a baddie, like eating the girls up, eating the girls up, eating the girls up. And I felt so confident, like I knew what I was doing. Mind you, like y'all, I'm still not at my go weight at all. Like it's giving a good, good 40, 40 pounds away from my go weight. But the fact that I have on a matching set, confidence goes through the roof okay and yeah like stop covering up y'all body you know like this is really still a part of number one because it's all about outer appearance so stop covering up y'all body like i know some of y'all may be a little insecure about the little extra jiggle baby i got it i got it too but i don't care because who gonna say something to me who gonna check me I wait. Yeah, nobody. No. I promise y'all, people in the gym never, especially in the gym, be like, um, ma'am, why is all your rolls hanging out? Like, you need to go cover up. And if they do, you don't need to be at that gym. Okay? But I, they're not going to do that. So, yeah, stop covering up with them big old baggy shirts. Now, don't get me wrong. It's all about my, your mindset. Like, if you got that big old shirt on, and you got them little shorts on with the uh, with the um, with them socks, you know the socks, the ankles, not the ankle socks, but the like a little high ankle socks and the sneakers. It's a look. It's a look. By all means, go for the look. Cause I've I've worn that outfit before too, and I and I was giving, I was giving. But it's all about wearing what you want that makes you feel confident. And I don't want y'all to run for the big t-shirts because it's comfortable because y'all like want to cover up i want y'all to be confident and let it all hang out like because you're at the gym like everybody is there to really achieve the same thing which is to become a better self like to become better a better version of themselves so like bro yeah i say all that to say get some cute outfits that's my that's my number one top tier advice get some cute outfits get something that's gonna make you feel so good inside number two it smell good like i know you're going to the gym and you're going to sweat and sometimes sweat don't smell good but you know put your deodorant on and put a little squirt of your favorite perfume this is my valentino and this is expensive so this gets one sprit one spray that's it okay but once i put that on baby and i got my matching set on 
no one could tell me nothing nothing like i feel like i'm going on a cute date like that's what you want to feel like like you want a cute like you want on a cute date like i just be feeling so feminine like that's another thing like being on a feminine journey that's what i'm on right now and the perfume just really adds to the femininity that i'm channeling so yeah spray some perfume and you just go like yo yo confidence is just going up every every tip i'm giving y'all the confidence is just going uh, 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 uh. every tip every tip that you do i promise I promise y'all, because there was a point in time where I didn't have no confidence. Like, I was really, like, when I tell y'all, I was really, like, it was so bad. I remember I put on leggings under my shorts. Granted, I could have just probably wore sweats. I don't know what I was thinking. Like, why am I covering up my legs? Like, girl. I digress, though. Step number three have a plan have a workout plan already written down and out for you ready to tell you what is the next exercise to do because when you go into the gym already knowing what you're gonna do and you're not just biting your biting your your uh your teeth just thinking about what you're gonna do you're gonna automatically feel more confident like you know like you going in there like with the best of them like yeah i'm on the bench press machine yeah and then i got the bent rows next yeah you already know like you just be like you just walk around with the uh, let me go to my machine because you already know what you got going on yeah so if y'all need a plan because y'all really don't know what y'all doing i got y'all i wouldn't come i wouldn't come over here with all this advice if i didn't have no concrete solution for y'all i got y'all link is in my bio i'm about to put it in my description box i got my four week shred fitness plan stepped out like everything written out i even got um follow along videos if you don't know what i'm telling you to do like there's yeah if you don't know what i'm telling you to do you click on the video next to the words and it's a follow along right there easy for you takes all the guesswork out of what to do next I got y'all. Y'all my peoples. I got y'all. Don't even worry about it. We're getting fine. Yeah. Yeah. We're we're out of that negative energy of not getting to our goals. That's gone. That's in the past. That's back there. Don't even look. Don't even look back there. Cause we we looking forward. So yeah. Had a have have a plan. Okay. Have a plan. It's gonna it's gonna help y'all. I promise y'all. Ever since I got my plan, I'm in and out of the gym. And people be coming up to me like, oh my god, what are you doing? Like, it seemed like you do this. You it seemed like you know what you're doing. Baby, sweat dripping. They be like, what's T sis? I'm like, oh, I got you. Get the plan, y'all. Tip number four. Have a lit playlist lip playlist baddie playlist it don't matter it's all gonna pump you up and give you the same but really since we're talking about more confidence i'm gonna say have that baddie playlist y'all or baddie artist it i mean or baddie album it don't matter for me right now ever since my good sis beyonce dropped the uh renaissance album baby i'm one of the girls i'm one of the uh, 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 uh. Baby, that's me. When I tell you I be walk, I, I be in that gym <laughs> as if I'm I'm in the broad room house. And who gonna tell me anything? Anything they be vibing. Because y'all, this is just a little tidbit, a little extra tip on the side. When you exude confidence, when you exude it, people feel that energy. They feel that energy and they, they want it too. They love it. They be cheering me on. They be cheering me on. And I just be like, you can't break my son. You can't break my... Doing my burpees. Dying, sweating, but you can't break my... Uh, 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 uh. Yeah. I promise y'all. Like, it's that album. Um, Her other... uh, The cup, the, the Beachella. The Beachella. 
go crazy every time. What else is a baddie? That be just making me feel like uh, uh, baddie era. Um, oh, saucy Santana booty. Yeah, all that, all of that. They be giving the girls every time. I be eating the girls at every time. Yeah, feeling like a baddie. So get y'all a lit playlist or a lit artist or a lit album that y'all really vibe with that just really brings out that alter ego in you. Play that when you at the gym. I promise you, the confidence gonna be there. I'm telling y'all, trust me, trust me. Okay, so now tip number five. Now this is getting more into yo, yo psychological. This is getting more mental, okay? Tip number five. Be delusional. Yeah. Be delusional. I know y'all seen the TikTok that says be delusional. Be delusional. Sis is right. Be I can't even trust it more. Be delusional. Okay? And I'm gonna explain to you how in this tip. I think in my head that my life is a movie and that the gym is my real life. I genuinely think it's my real life. So when I go in there, I think I'm the baddest woman to step in a building every time and eat them all up. So when I go in there, head up high, <laughs> pushed up, Beyonce in my ear, perfume on, Set, match and set on. Walk in there, baddest thing coming in. What? Yeah, Bad, baddest thing coming up in that gym. Yeah, every, every time, eat down, every time. And it be days where I be looking crazy, which is 99% of the time. I be looking crazy with a match and set on. But it don't matter. Because in my head, I don't look crazy and I'm the baddest one up in that in that place, in that establishment, and in people's establishments, okay? Yeah. So when I say be delusion, you have to re rewire your brain to think you're the baddest one up in there. Most educated one. You already know what you're doing because you got the plan. You already got the plan. So you walk in there like, uh, yeah. I feel like all eyes are on me. Yeah, so I gotta I gotta turn up and shine with that. Yeah. What? When I y'all should really see me, I'd be on that stairmaster thinking I'm one of the girls in the house. Like in the house of music in, in the house, like yeah. Pose, the show pose. I'd be up on that thing like So be delusional. Tip number six. If people are starting to stare at you, this is still a part of being the mind. If people are continuously staring at you, this is what I tell myself. And this is what you need to tell yourself. Oh my God. Like, they are amazed at my beauty. They are amazed. They have never seen a goddess before. They're amazed. Yeah. Literally is what I tell myself. So, you you gonna stare? I'm gonna give you something to stare at. Yeah. So, let me really do these jumping jacks. These burpees. Yeah. Because I'm gonna show you what a workout look like. And that, like I said earlier, people come up to me and be like, Sis, you're sweating so much. What are you doing? Those, those be the people staring at me, y'all. And 80% of the time, but to me, 100% of the time, they're staring at me because they're amazed. They're literally like, oh my God, she is doing so good. She looks so good. And they come up to me, they either be like, oh my God, what are you doing? Can I get the plan? Or they be like, oh my God, your outfit is so cute. Y'all, I'm telling y'all, it works. It works every time. I'm telling y'all, like, 
every time. So yeah, continue to be delusional, sis. Tip number eight. I think this is number eight. I don't know. That girl who be like, I love her. Yeah, I love her. Anyways, tip number eight. This is specifically for the women who are awkward when men stare at them. Some men, I'm not gonna say all, some people in general are creeps, okay? They're creeps. So what you, this is a tip, this is a tip, right? You either have your music in so loud that you cannot hear, that you could, you physically can just not hear them, so you ignore them. Two, you you say what I say in, in your head and say they is staring at me because I am a goddess and they just never have seen something so beautiful like this. Or three, you just simply look at them and be like, "Nah, I'm good," and continue with your workout. They'll leave you alone. They, they'll leave you alone because it's like you're not giving them no time of day. And it's just like you're really interrupting my workout right now. That's what you tell them. You you take the earphone out. And it's nothing it's nothing rude about this because oh people love to be trainers in the gym. Like I didn't I didn't ask for none of your help. So why are you solicitating any of this? I didn't ask for any of this. No, I don't want to know how to do the crunch. The crunches correctly. Leave me alone. Don't get me wrong. There are some people in there who really be wanting to help you. But have, pray for some discernment to know. Or go with your gut. To know when it's like really helpful. and Or when they're just being a creep. So this is what you do. You take your earphone out. You look mean. Look mean. Because you don't even want to give them no like. <laughs> Because they take that and be like, huh, huh, I'm going to keep talking to you. No. is what I do. I'll be like, what? No, I'm good. Like, right now, you're honestly interrupting my workout. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, though. Have a good day. Put the earphones in and go about your business. Now, they're going to continue to stare at you for a little bit. Because now their egos are bruised. Okay? But we don't care about that. Eagles are bruised. Know that you're always protected. Have the positive mindset that you're always protected. And go about your day. And if you feel uneasy about it, go tell one of the workers at the gym to just like keep an eye out on you. And they will every time. Yeah. Every time. Tip number nine. And this is the last tip. Take all the negative thoughts that is coming in your head. When they come in your head, replace them immediately with a positive thought like for example me i'll be like oh my god my thighs oh they are literally jiggling on this stairmaster i switch it real quick i switch it real quick and be like oh my god i'm thick yeah i'm thinking the thighs are just giving the thighs are eating the girls down right now and i'm building them and making them tighter as I'm walking on this step. Or, if I don't think that, I think, oh my God, I'm really walking on the Stairmaster. I remember there was a time where I couldn't even walk on the Stairmaster this long. Go me. Easy. Now, I get it, you're not gonna be able to do that every time. But try to make it a habit to, to replace those negative thoughts with positive thoughts immediately. So yeah. Those are my tips on how to stay confident. I really hope it helped somebody. Also, if this video was helpful, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And also hit that bell notification so you can be reminded, notified when I drop another video. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> also, if you guys are interested in seeing any of my workout reviews or any of my weight loss journey videos, be sure to click one of these videos right here mm -hmm. and I'll see you guys in the next video.